Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be making uh, vegetarian spaghetti with light life. I'm going to make meatballs with the light life. You're going to need one package of light life. You're going to need one egg. You're going to need some chopped up onions, white, yellow, doesn't matter. You need black pepper. You need uh, salt, garlic, and herb, chili powder, oregano, Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder. Uh, I got some diced roasted tomatoes. It's my first time using those. I was usually gonna get some rotel or some uh, other chopped, or some other, um, some other uh, diced tomatoes like with oregano and garlic mixed in. But at the store I was at, they didn't have that. So, got some breadcrumbs, you need some whole wheat spaghetti noodles, uh, two jars of tomato and basil organic tomato sauce. Also, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. All right, next thing. All right, first thing we're going to do is make the meatballs. So, go ahead and put your light life in a bowl, add your one egg. Add your onions. Add all your seasonings and season to your liking. I don't measure, I just go off a of feeling. And then you want to add in some breadcrumbs. This is to help bind it together, just like the egg. And again, you're just going to eyeball it. And the next thing, after you got all your seasonings in the bowl, you want to go ahead and mix it all together. Make sure your hands are clean and uh, mix it all well with your hands. After you mixed it well, now you want to round them into small meatballs or whatever size that you want. Uh, large, medium, or small. Mine's are probably gonna be medium. And then you wanna lay them on, onto a pan and place in the oven at 350 for about uh, 20 to 30 minutes. You can just uh, check on them periodically. All right, this is what the meatballs look like after you rounded them to your liking. And if you are unsure if you seasoned them properly or well, you can take one of these meatballs, uh, put it in a pan, uh, put a little bit of uh, sunflower oil, coconut oil, whatever oil you have, and let it brown, cook it, and then taste it. And if it tastes good, go ahead and uh, go, with, go with the next step. If you feel like after you're tasting that first meatball, if you should add more seasoning then go go ahead and do so but so if you're ready to, for the next step make sure your oven is preheated to 350 uh, place your meatless meatballs in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes uh, if you depending on your oven you may want to check on them periodically all right the next thing we're going to do is work on the sauce uh, put in the crock pot while the meatballs are cooking, uh, when they're finished, we'll add it to the pot as well. So go ahead and add your tomato sauce. I added one jar and I'm gonna add half of the other jar plus the diced tomatoes or fire roasted diced tomatoes. All right, that is the that's the half of the second jar. And next I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna eyeball it, cause this is my first time using the fire roasted tomatoes. I'm adding, you don't have to add these, but I'm adding these because I like to taste a little of tomatoes, a little bit of tomato uh, as I eat the spaghetti.
I think I might just go ahead and add all of them. Alright, uh, next gonna add in onions. And then I'm follow up with uh, the seasoning. So that's onion powder. Again, uh, season to taste. I just go off a of feeling. Uh, garlic powder. Garlic and herb. Alright, next I'm going to add in salt and pepper, oregano, Italian seasoning, um, and some chili powder. And then I'm going to add a little bit of breadcrumbs. Uh, this is optional as well. I like to add a little bit of breadcrumbs to help thicken up the sauce just a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And it also, since it's Italian breadcrumbs, it also is going to flavor it too. And that's all we're going to do right now. We're just going to cook this down. Uh, for about two to three hours uh, like I said we'll come back and add the meatballs and let it uh, cook with the spaghetti as well we won't add the noodles until like 30 minutes that uh, we won't add the noodles until 30 minutes and that's left in the cooking process right, go ahead after you finish adding all your seasoning give this a nice little stir and add the lid uh, we're gonna cook this on high for about two to three hours We'll come back and add in the meatless meatballs when they're finished cooking so they can uh, get the flavor of the spaghetti sauce on them and cook as well. We won't add the spaghetti noodles until the last 30 minutes of cooking. So until then, uh, I'll see you back when the meatball, meatless meatballs are finished. Alright guys, here, here's the meat, meatless meatballs. I cooked them for about 30 minutes. And this is how they turned out. All right, if these are to your liking, go ahead and add them to the crock pot with the spaghetti sauce. And if they're not, if yours aren't finished cooking, it's okay. You can go ahead and add it to the crock pot because it's just gonna cook. Uh, it's gonna finish cooking while it's in the crock pot with the sauce. All right, here I've just added the uh, meatless meatballs from the pan into the crock pot. I'm just gonna give it a nice little stir. I also went ahead and added some uh, cane sugar to help uh, break up the acid, to break it down from the uh, the acidic, from it's gonna be an acidic taste from the tomato sauce or tomatoes, whatever. So if you want to help break that down a little bit, add you some cane sugar uh, to your sauce. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this up. Give it a nice little stir. Then you're gonna, like I said, fin let it finish cook until about two hours. We'll come back and check it. We're really trying to get it just to pretty much heat up and to cook down the onions. This is pretty much what you're doing. I, I like cooking in a crock pot because it's fast something you throw in here real fast after the meatless meatballs cook after you do all that you can just let it cook and go and do whatever other activities you got to do for that day and two uh like the crock pot because it has like its own uh unique taste that it gives the food that you put in your crock pot so that's why i like using the crock pot and so after you give it a nice stir you want to go ahead and add your lid and i'll check back after the two hours are up Guys, I'm back. It's close to being two hours of the spaghetti cooking. Remember I said we're gonna add the noodles for the last 30 minutes of the cooking time. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna add uh, 
uh, close to half uh, of the spaghetti from the box in, in here. I believe it's a little bit a little bit more than half, but it's not the entire box. Uh, just eyeball it, see how much uh, you think you may need. The box is not that big either. Let me show you. It's not that big. I've already broken, I broke the spaghetti noodles in half to help them fit in here better and to cook evenly as well. So I'm just going to put them all in here and then I'm going to stir it up. And you need the sauce to cover the noodles to help them cook. Cause that the sauce is, is like the liquid and I'm gonna show you another trick in just a moment that I also use to help cook the spaghetti noodles down with all right a trick I like to do is add some vegetable stock in here this also would help cook down the noodles so you're just gonna add one cup and like I said, this is for the last 30 minutes of the cooking time for the spaghetti. And that right there should do it. And I'm still cooking this on hot, by the way. So I'm going to let this cook for 30 minutes and then we'll be back, check on it, and to plate it. the 30 minute mark or two hours now and I just checked the noodles and they're not finished so I'm going to give them 30 more minutes to finish cooking I also noticed that my meatless meatballs they went ahead and uh, they fell apart like this one right here so they did not make it but they end up just crumbling themselves up into the spaghetti. So it'll still be fine. Here's one right here. So uh, next time I probably just have to have them at the very end or something. But anyway, it's still going to be good. I'm sure of it. But like I said, the noodles, they aren't completely uh, tender yet. So I'm going to give this 30 more minutes and then we'll check back. All right, guys, it's been 30 more minutes. So it's, uh, as a whole, it's been two hours and 30 minutes. And now the noodles are completely tender and done. I'm going to now plate this and uh, give it a taste test. All right, guys, here is the finished product. And I know it's supposed to have uh, uh, meatballs in it. Or meatless meatballs but as it was finishing up its cooking process it ended up it ended it ended up crumbling and I got a little disappointed but then I, I paused and was like it's still a great dish and part of me wanted to not finish the video and then part of me also didn't want to show my like like failure at attempting to make meatless meatballs with the light life but i felt like that was a lesson to learn from and to continue to post the video anyway to show people that life isn't perfect i'm not perfect things is gonna things are going to happen and i feel like that still should be shown um feel like that still should be shown so to encourage other people who may make a cooking video or make another video or anything in life you may do and it doesn't turn out like you want it to it's okay it's life uh, you can learn from it you can try again so that's why I continued to make the video and um, yeah <laughs> so this is the meal 
it's the spaghetti uh, like I said the light life it crumbled it's still in there you can still see it so it's just like kind of like meatless meat crumbled up or ground meatless meat whatever it's in there it's just not the meatballs that I was hoping for so it's still gonna be good I can practice and try again so let's uh, pray so bow your head uh, thank you God for this meal Thank you for allowing me to have a setback and still show the world that it's okay to fail. You don't have to be perfect. Uh, social media has made people think everything in life has to be perfect and no one wants to show uh, their downfall or what they need to overcome. Anyway, um, I thank you for, the, for this to happen so I can be the bigger person and show people that it's okay to mess up it's not the end of the world but uh thank you god amen thank you for this meal and uh amen all right here we go we're gonna taste it like i expected still tastes good it has like a nice creamy texture to it I, like I said I think it has something to do with it being in the crock pot that's why I like to cook the spaghetti in the crock pot because uh, the crock pot gives its own unique flavor but it's good I encourage anybody else to try this uh, remember to always be cool no matter the circumstances if you do make this and you do attempt to meet balls uh, leave me a comment uh, if you are successful with it staying together um, like share subscribe and until next time mm -hmm.